And here we go. It's the Some Booty and Vinny Lippiness Hour. Today it is the Sanity Clause. Flint Flash. Thanks, Graham. Perfect title. The Sanity Clause. And here we are. And you know what? Where else to be? Because only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun. Bark, so tune bark. in now. <laughs> and thanks at Blackbird 9. Hey, baby. Nine. Ah, yeah, baby hey, Nine's hey. back, yeah. I heard that. Yeah, I caught show. that. Uh, I, I caught his uh, his little podcast going on out there uh, in the uh, yeah in the internet sphere on the Twitter. Sphere. Oh uh, yeah, I gave up on that Twitter shit. Did you? Oh, that's yeah. the best place over there, man. Well, yeah, you get bombarded with with uh, you know all the Trump stuff. I don't even subscribe to Trump, and it's always uh, all of my feed. Well, there you go. Hell, Trump's career. Yeah, he did one thing though. Uh, and my buddy in Tennessee, Dan. Hey, hey Dan in Tennessee. He uh, yeah, he sent me. Where a, are we? Says, why are we talking <laughs> about it? Because <laughs> he was so it's adamant, table, like so everybody. many. Hey, listen. I've hated Trump <laughs> since I first known him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he pardoned. Yeah. He pardoned the Hammonds. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, the, I read that. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. That was the big kickoff for the. Uh, 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 Oregon standoff up there, and, yeah. and now you're. Back. But I would take that as a political move to to sway people back to his side because he's such a forgiving fucking guy. When it's just yeah, a big so scam, the, be careful. Here, here is about that. You know, there's a uh, this. Oh big yeah, hey, idea. we're at the dork table on uh, the seventh of July, twenty eighteen, doing our dork thing all over the place. This isn't the seventh. Oh, hey, Grim. I'm going to I'm going to ask Grim live on the uh on the on the air um thing it has put in the name and the date and then it says update. Do I hit that now or after the show's over? I couldn't remember cuz I only did it once. <laughs> hey, there you go. Okay, Vinny. We're at the All right. fucking dork table. So- oh, man. All right, so with the right broadcast for yesterday that I didn't go with, which I'm glad to, because uh, there's there's a lot more to go uh, to that that I, I need to uh, really nail down. So really a lot to this in the uh, the uh, Bundyville series from uh, Oregon Public Broadcasting and Long Reads with Leah Satilli and uh, Ryan Haas. Uh, I've been covering that. Now Lucas Oil wins extend. This is a little, uh, uh, I'm putting uh, some pun in the ponder and uh, gander with candor Wow! in, uh, in, in all this. So uh, Winds Extend is, uh, is also this, this oil treatment. But Lucas Oil, which is Protect the Harvest on Twitter, um, big rich guy. And he's the one really had a lot of influence with Trump to, uh, to get this uh Pardon really nailed down for the Hammonds. Now, my first love, I met her in uh, Glendale, uh, Nevada, which is right there just uh, below, well, between Vegas and uh, Mesquite. Whoops. What the hell did I do? Oh, I lost Finney. Okay, that's what happened here. I guess we're still on. Are we still live? Uh, okay, still, okay, goes back to update. Well, I'm not sure what happened. Let me try to ring him back. Oh, yeah, we got a closed show. Anyway, Vinny was trying to update me and you on the thing going on with the Bundys. Ah, oh, here he comes. <sighs> wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. I oh, thought I shut you up because you wouldn't yeah. say the dark table, but I think you got the cut. dark table, dark table, the yeah, dark you, table. I had a you got cut call, off, right? which it ended. Yeah, a phone call came in here and oh, knocked me off. Okay. I hit decline. Mm. Uh, ah, but anyway, you got declined. Got declined. Well, anyway, yeah, I, I hit it now, <laughs> Grim, but it's still it's still available there in a blue box. So I hope I'm doing this right. Doing it, doing it. Well, we apparently go. last week we managed to do it, or the last, not in the last week, the last time we did it, we did it, I did this end right. But, you know me, a week away and I forget something. I don't seem to retain the fucking uh, details of 
organization. <laughs> I always like to do something my own way. And we all know that doesn't work. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Well, well, well. Yeah, he's back. Okay, the, the, the dark table. The dark hey, table. You're breaking up, though. Straighten Damn. out, son. Straighten out your shit, son. You sound like you got your head up your ass. Uh, it's just poor. There it is. There that you go. Back that's, that's our Vinny. Uh -huh. Hey, Vinny. Anyway, so okay. well, I'm flashing, as I was left Vinny, off, let me. Uh, I want to say hi to the yeah, RL Vinny. members, and we usually do that in the okay. first twenty minutes. Vinny lippiness. Vinny lippiness. Yeah, get your Vin lippiness and, and sit down some booty. <laughs> yeah, sir, sir. Say, I wanted to say hi. Hey, well, I'll tell you that later. Anyway, so barman, Grimnir, Moose Girl. Hey, Moose Girl. Miss Kate Asmo. Beth Z, Chow Sedoni, Chloe, oh. Singular, Free Enslaved, Graham Z. Well, these are the names on the thing. I, Graham Z is not here. I, I, I know that for sure. Uh, Ivy Don C. Hey, we got a double dipper. Ivy Don C. Work. Strawberry. Java Doctor 2. Jew Dread. J's Nines and J's. Uh, Wana Taco. Rain Fluke. Rob works. Trust number one. <laughs> Anti Colfax 101. Dakota. <clears throat> Death Spawn. What the fuck is. Okay. that That's a new one. Death Spawn. <clears throat> Frumpy. Kozu. Mm -hmm. Poxified. Poxophone. Pawn Sauce. A hey, Sock Puppet. Skittle. That's another bot, right? And then. <clears throat> Sir, give got me a new name so I could open Ice Chat Nine, and that's what she some came booty, up with. some booty. Ah, uh, and she's fucking funny. And then uh, Vin Lippiness, that's you. And I'm still here. Yeah, and our rock hound in the South Woodman is closing the whole room out. Woody. Yeah, fuck yeah, he got settled in Arizona. Oh yeah, we missed him for a while. Where's well, Hans Stein? Where's our Hans all that Stein? Is Hans shit. Stein not there? But all that moving shit around, it takes time sometimes. Depends on where you go, how you travel. Yeah. Yeah. Internet well, stuff. Yeah, it's usually the best way to travel is with a, a laptop and a bag filled with money. But the, the state frowns on that. You know, because they always yeah, want to know... Be, your money could be seized. Well, it's just not their fucking business in the first place what things are. But you know what I found out, Vince? You you might not believe this. I if, might. If, if I have $10,000 in cash in my possession, do you know the Federal Reserve still owns it? I'm just using it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. That makes sense. But people don't believe it. It's it's all just made up barred numbers, anyways. Right? Well, the RLM folks seem to know that part. That's but there's lots of other people that you know. Uh, so the Ponzi, the Ponzi. Well, okay, and then when you say it like that, right? I think that the modern day mind is trained <laughs> to repel anything after Ponzi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, in response to Skater Dude, uh, oh, Dave, 14. thanks. Uh, thanks, Grim. Been giving me some uh, uh, for uh, amused perspective. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. that's putting some uh, pun in the ponder right there, and uh, that's a hashtag. Uh, Am is capitalized and then used in capital perspective. Oh, I see what I did. That's uh, yeah. What'd you do? Uh, Stop. Stop. Wrong. The wrong Stop. date and the update thing. And uh, I was reading the chat so I could fix it. Because, it's the 14th uh, today. Yeah, but uh, they, see, they do it they in a way that makes sense. But I'm used to doing it in the other way that doesn't make sense. So now, with all the choices, I get confused <laughs> and fuck it up every time. <laughs> I had choices. I've got a real serious hey. problem with hey, following hey, rules. <laughs> if you know what I mean. That sound. Sing it with me, Daniel. 
I had choices. I said, that's the possum right there. You, you just call me a possum. You're a, you're a fish chasing. <laughs> okay, now I get it. So that so I did update it, right, Grim and, and Miss Kate? Are you good? No, because I, I opened up you, the window and it said 7-7, seven, seven, but I changed it to 14. And then I hit update again, so that What's the definition of the door? <laughs> well, you know, Grim, that that's the point. Vinny knows this. Vinny told me stories about money before he ever heard it out of me. He said it, so he knows too. Money. But, you know, what we're concerned Holy with is that poor schmo out there the love of. just doesn't get it. There's a lot of people that don't. I guess it hurts their ego to look at, to be slapped in the face like that by the very thing you support. I slap you in the face with six inches of hard, cold currency, baby. Wow. Who are you talking to there, Vincenzo? <laughs> I was talking to you. <laughs> mm. And what about the other 6,000 miles? Oh, well. I'm just throwing dollars at you up there as you're pole dancing. <laughs> oh, pole dancing. Yeah. I thought that was when Polish people Yeah, danced. that's what the six you. Yeah, but over that here, too. pole well, dancing is, is Polacks dancing. There you go. No but they're here, they're the not dollar Polacks. Bill. Measure dollar bill. I bet the money's different over there where you're at. It doesn't look like the Me? good old petrodollar. Who yeah. are you talking to? I'm talking to you. Yeah, Danish currency is very simple. There's four denominations that are common, and, and they're all different colors and different sizes. Oh, and even their like coins, Monopoly. their their coins are got different sizes, except for um, two coins are the same size. So they put, a, they put a hole in one of them to identify it from the other for the blind. <laughs> Which kind of explains So it's like it. real money. No, it's just if if you have two coins that are the same size, but one of them has a hole in it, it's a five cent piece, or is it the two cent piece? Huh. Well, it's one or the other. You know what I mean? I'm not Danish, and I don't use the coins. I just know I that they exist. I I believe. Do they really exist? Well, how is their money back? What? Nothing's backed by anything. The world is right yeah, now. International Monetary Fund. Oh, fund fuck fund. you, Vinny. It owes three times more debt than there is available currency on, on the planet. It's is a, that all? It's a game. Well, that's all they're admitting to. So it, all this whole uh, fucking thing is all a made-up like pile thing. of shit. And, and the people in control are just... So you know who the Ponzi fellow was? The what of us? Are we talking about Ponzi? I didn't get the question. No, not Fonzie. Ponzi. 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 Yeah, it's no, a Ponzi right. scheme. You know who Ponzi was, right? No. To get you to buy hair not. gel so you can wear your hair not like a Fonzie. duck. Ponzi. That way uh, you, I, you don't have to quack at people when they pass you by because you got a duck ass on your head. <laughs> wow. Speaking of head which, out. we got... Sound, sounds like you got stuck. <laughs> We got live ducks in the middle of town. It's very, very um, really? rural and pleasant here in this I, little place. I hate ducks. I hate Whoa, ducks. then you'll be very pissed off to go into town. Why do you hate ducks, Vinny? They're nasty. Were you, were you attacked by a duck they're, when you were a little nasty. boy? Did it, no. did, did it try no, to have sex nasty. with you? What, 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 what? They're, no, but it's a drake that raped a hen. <laughs> Oh, chicken. Yeah. yeah, I know what a hen is. Yeah, yeah. it's a true story. Yeah. Wow, yeah. well, there's this, that was like your shit on your chest story. Wow, you're really digging deep. Right. You're looking for that? <laughs> you're looking for I, that handsome I, I, crowd? My, you're trying uh, to get, hey, say some nice things my, about my McDonald. Go on, I dare you. McDonald? No, the other Madonna? McDonald. Um, Donald Madonna. Mc, Donald McTrump. Oh, uh, he Orange pardoned one. the Hammonds. Yeah, yeah. That saying, goes back to the Wins Extend. That. See, hmm. the Wins Extend, right? Okay. Lucas Oil. Now, there's a. Uh, what's being put forth is, is there's this uh, big 
underlying conspiracy to uh, uh, kind of separate in the West what's been called the Sagebrush Rebellion uh, by by Mormons in you know when it gets into way beyond that into Scientology uh, connections with who's a councilwoman in, in uh, Nevada out of Vegas there uh, a lot a lot being said how um, the Hammonds, they, they beat that boy and approaching of a deer. A lot of stuff has been said and it's being spoken as truth. And I really got to question that because if you're just quoting accusations and then making them as fact, then, you know, this is a part of the sanity cause that we're uh, looking at. <laughs> Flint flat. You know, flash in the pan. Sparks. I was telling you about my first love I met. As 19 in Glendale, um, so I've been connected with the uh, the Bunkerville area there about life, yeah. um, and being a part of that. So that, that's the importance for me and, and being a witness, and I've been continuing witness. And since the mainstream media, uh, they it's used as a tool, you know, uh, just pure PR, uh, capitalized when you uh, spill uh, propaganda, um, goes back, you know, for names. Yeah. We're, I, I'd like to say that, you know, we're being led uh, in both directions. And, and uh, so you can fall in all the way uh, on either side or, or try to wade through it right down the uh, you know, center stream and come out on a bank. Well, you don't, serious, and dry. you don't seriously see a way to stay out of it, do you? Yes, I do. Use the brand new, our sponsor today. The uh, Ponzi Fonzi scheme cream keeps you dry. Okay. Does that mean that that you've uh, withdrawn to the woods again and you don't speak to people or what? Oh, I, I never met a stranger. Well, then you're hey, in the game. I was coming through the woods a while ago as I was coming back over here. Yeah. There's a little squirrel. And, well, see, he's people just have. Around. He people, wasn't uh, old enough to know they supposed to be scared. They've been trained to recognize <laughs> others by value standards. You are worth this if you do that. That kind of shit. It's a it's that class and stuff. Well, I'd buy that life. for a dollar. See, there you go. Because you, sir, engage in commerce, you <laughs> evil bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. It's what's really killing us all commerce you don't think so you know who ponzi was that this is part of commerce in a way i guess you know what uncle? ponzi his famous scheme he's you know he kind of gets the credit for this uh, uh this idea of this uh how this all works where in the end the, you know there and like the federal reserve so in answer to your question yeah, yeah, well, you know, I can find. That I was talking let, me, about. let me tell you this, though. I can find information on the internet available to me that says that the Federal Reserve Bank is the be next best thing since um, whatever sliced something, and equal amounts of shit that tells you the truth about what it really is. So, if you don't know, when you're going out there looking, it's all a matter of what you find first will probably be what you believe. All right. Well, let me ask Chat. Does anybody know what uh, what Ponzi was famous for? What what his schemes consisted of? I don't know. No Ponzi. Oh, I thought, you, I, thought <laughs> I actually got you on Ponzi for a minute. I thought hey, you were on Ponzi. hey, hey. Ponzi. hey. <laughs> that was a that was a very yeah. terrible TV show from America. No, oh, it was hey, great. you know I have been America when, free since when, 2011. When I was a kid watching. 2011, Vinny. It's 11. Hold it. 11. Twenty. Yeah. That's that a long time? I don't know, seven years. What is time? Coming up yeah, Five seven years. Seven five. years in September. First day that I'd like to. I know. Would you sing with me? No. What if, what if I sang out of What if you don't? Would you get up and walk out on me? No, if you didn't I would be amazed. Only mad dogs in English can go out, oh, out the midday sun. Yeah. 
So besides <laughs> wiping the cream off your forehead because the Bundys got pardoned, what else is going on? Well, now, so now you're going to abandon your life of yeah. stardom. Oh, and they're also. And just what? You're going to become a, a vegetable in the Garden of Arkansas? No, I'm going to chill for a little while. Maybe next summer I'll be uh, up in the in the mountains where it's nice and cool. Uh Okay, so you just said no yeah. and yes in one sentence. Which one is it? Pick pick a side, fucker. Pick a side. Don't be shy. You know what? Step right I up. know what it is. What? After after yeah. I'm done, yeah. I know what I did. Oh. That's how I make plans. Well, how do you know when you're finished? I ain't done. That's why. Uh, also, with uh, yesterday's podcast to come, um, the hero, our anti-hero, th things are flip-flop, right? How we see things. It's well, so it's well. 420, and I hit that right on the nose. <laughs> okay. 420? Happy 420 hey, to clear? all you like people a out there in the world. It's time one. I'll tell you this, it's 420 when I Go fucking say it's 420. You know why? It's, ah, it's 1121 now. All right, yeah, we got to burn, baby, here, Danny. I started at 420, but... <laughs> I control the button. Right, this is a to strawberry the, to the show. Uh, this is strawberry sherbet. Strawberry sherbet. Uh oh. There we go. We're being infiltrated at the dork table yeah, by please. nerds yeah. and geeks. Empty. Incoming yeah. nerds and geeks at the dork table. Damn it! You don't make me rush around. Your ass this no, is a dork yeah, alert. <laughs> what kind of train wreck are we doing, Vinny? We ain't got no train wreck. Yeah, we do. Train, train wreck. You've heard of train wreck. That's not yeah. good weed, too, though. You've already... Hey, I want to see what... Uh, Soylent I got Green. A, I got a left of a right. My, my favorite strain is Jilly Bean, and I've only been able to find up more towards me. Oh, Blue Dream's good. No, not Blue Dream. Blue Dream is good, though. Blue Dream's all right, but still, uh, I haven't heard... I have not had anything come close to Jilly Bean. Jilly Bean will, will knock your ass. It's not Jelly Bean. It's Jilly Bean. Jilly. And it's almost gray. Ooh. It's almost all gray. It's fucking... It's killer. It, it, it's knocked our gas. <laughs> wow. That's what I got all the time when I live in my... That's hey, truth in advertising, Mike. huh? I have a around the house. What is? What is truth it, in Hey, would you, would you have believed Obamacare was real if the if the president had been running around talking like your, your friend there? This shit's for real, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, but no, he sold it like a business, so you knew it was crap from the minute they started um, talking about it. <laughs> you know why? <coughs> you probably don't. You're just a country <coughs> bumpkin living in the woods, probably eating muskrat and deer, <coughs> weird he shit like hello. that. You ever eat muskrat there, old Vincenzo? No. Uh -uh. I've had no? uh, okay. coon and possum before. Uh, okay. Coon and possum. <laughs> it's true. You, are, you do live in Arkansas. Possum. I've had bear. <laughs> I've had bear. And, bear is really gamey. Well, I had uh, really black really bear gamey. from here in Arkansas. Yeah, had but some grizzly how, does an, how does an uneducated <laughs> redneck twerp like you figure all this shit out? That's what I want to know. <clears throat> I'm worldly. I've been everywhere, man. Yeah, I like you're that. a. On paper, Vinny, you're an uneducated um, redneck. You know what I mean? The tone of your, your, tone I got, of your, your state accent I got, makes you different. I got like paper, that. man. I got paper. I'm a salutatorian <laughs> when I graduated GED in uh, Navasota, <laughs> Texas. <laughs> in the state of in Texas. Don't tell me. I ain't paper. <laughs> Who owns and then you everybody who, said, salute. Who owns you this <laughs> month? Huh? Who? I got a rich uncle. Hey, did did you know there is a difference between a, a bill and a statement? <clears throat> well, a bill, yeah. uh, like Bubba, Bubba, Bubba Bill Clinton. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's from 
He's from Arkansas. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. <laughs> they say, Hillary, go get me another girl. Wow. I wonder if all that's true. It's true, I'm sure. Okay, oh, and man. I saw Bilbo uh, get outsmarted by fucking... Uh, I saw Bilbo outsmart uh, Gollum inside the mountain with my very own four eyes. Vinny, explain this to me. What? If that's what? real, what? then the shit I saw on the TV is real, too. It's the same. It's all stories you hear from other people. None of it's physical. True. Well, okay. Because okay, according to people's opinion, okay, and the information that they get and read, depending on where they live, they have a certain outlook towards <coughs> the world. Outlook towards what? The world. Well, you were yeah coughing or something through it. You know, toward how yeah. they see the world around them or the imaginary world beyond what they can see. You know, like, if I have an opinion about Florida right now, what the fuck is that opinion based on? I haven't been in Florida since uh, 1991, the last time I was physically I don't in the state. Well, right, but for me to there. have Sometimes an opinion... Uh, about, before the turn of the new millennia. You know, the point is, if, if I had an opinion today, what would it be based on? Well, it'd be ba based on my experience for me. A land there, oh, it was so nice. This like the little curvature of the sand where it dips off. You just sit there, perfect, like a chair, and that water just washes on you. From the Atlantic side, I, one year I went to uh, mm -hmm. to the Atlantic, the Gulf, the, uh, the Great Lake, of Erie, and the Pacific Ocean all in one year. Whoa, that was you are a traveling man. Yeah, yeah I've well, been everywhere, man. It's a matter, too, also, of how you Cross travel. Cross the desert. Player. I hitchhiked from New Jersey to L.A. in three and a half days once. <laughs> I hitchhiked from uh, Tulsa to Vegas in 50 hours once when I was Tulsa uh, to 14. Vegas. Mm, yeah. Man, doing, what, 80 miles an hour? <laughs> no, I hitchhiked. I beat the bus. <laughs> yeah, Tulsa the bus, to Vegas. The bus yeah. would have been four hours longer. Yeah, me and my buddy uh, from uh, school days back up, even in the elementary, uh, he's dead now. But I know a lot of dead people. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. yeah. And you start getting but, old. Huh? Well, yeah, but we, me and you both had the luxury of uh, in, enduring the 70s and the 80s. And then you're still doing some of it just differently. Yeah, the 80s you can't, suck. For me. Yeah, well, not for me, but you can't hitchhike anymore. <laughs> I remember when that not was so just, much. No, I could hitchhike. Probably the last time I did was 92, and I made it from. Uh, <clears throat> I started in way down in the bottom of Baja, Cabo San Lucas, and I went up all the way to TJ and across 10 to Florida and then down to Miami. And it, it took me, nice. it was either eight or nine days. Nice. Yeah, very you lucky. Know how you hit, I'm small. I, I, I can hitchhike. I put on my cowboy hat, and it never fails. Okay, well, yes, yeah, because there's still, yeah, that's, well, that's a club. I'm not in that club. I wouldn't want to pretend to be in it you know, either, because when you get attended to, then they go, hey, you're lying. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know how that story would turn out when you had to tip your hat to the lady, son, and all that hell. <laughs> hair fell out. <laughs> hair fell out. Yeah, <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> but you know all the horror stories I ever heard about rednecks before I actually met some, all turned out to be bullshit. You know the the truth yeah. of it is, is an asshole is just a fucking asshole, and what part of the country he lived in didn't matter. You would always recognize that guy and avoid him. And yeah. all the stories about rednecks was just stories. People entertain each other with we're better than them because of this. It, because <laughs> I'm, you know, I am now associating regularly with one of the people I grew up supposed to have been making fun of because you're different than me. But I really didn't get into that game in the first place, but it was always around. <coughs> oh, 
sorry, I got cough left over from that. I was gonna hit it again, but I think I choked. Oh look, Hans is talking about weapons and stuff. Oh, these people and their violence. Hello, Hansel. Is he listening? Are you I listening? I don't Hans? know. I can't read his. I can't read his text, but I can read Grimm's, and he's talking to him about some major important <coughs> situation going on in the world. You know, because we're it's all Trump. under siege. He went oh. and met the queen and the prime minister and all that. Yeah, He's like, lippity, do it, lippity. do it, uh, don't, don't do it. <laughs> yeah, but the, well, the, as long as uh, you don't mind how we trade together. Uh, the internet rip. was full of stories about like, how how Trump went over there and gave May a hard time. So who knows? You know, May, maybe, May. I think it's just a bunch of the bullshit. Myself. One, look at her name. Listen. Listen, look at how her name is spelled. Gun, or however you say it. T A T V one. O N E. V one. That's a funny name. The one. The one? Who is? Huh. What, what's that? her last name? The Prime Minister. Of oh, the UK. I don't I I don't have no idea. I don't you know uh, and what's the what's the Queen's name? Elizabeth. That I know Mary? is Elizabeth? I thought it was Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth. The second? Huh? I would assume. I I don't know. I think I got a coin with her face on it or something around here somewhere. <laughs> she, she looks like she eats babies. Well, German people aren't always all that attractive when they're in their fucking 80s, man. Calm down. It's not her fault. She was never really pretty, though. Was she? I, they're all in bread, right? Oh, don't don't tell the truth about the, those people on the radio. We'll get we'll get a reputation, and people will c talk about us, Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen Mother's in the Bible. Well, I don't. I think it's all a bunch of bullshit. I, that's the the bottom to it. There is no way to explain it beyond. It's whatever I wanted it to be because I'm the one listening to the story. I can't prove or disprove one way or the other. So I'd have to go to England to prove or disprove whatever it is we're talking about. And I ain't going to England. So the only reality that matters to me is the one I'm looking at. I, I'm not even sure. All this other reality. stuff is entertaining, but it's not real. I mean, it's real to you if you're in it, but it ain't real to me because I'm not in it. No more in this than I, I am in no. any war, getting bombed or all that other shit. In fact, here's a weird a weird fact about where me and Circa are living: is Denmark's having a water problem right now, <clears throat> shortage of agua pura for the uh, for the crops that they're growing that they depend on. Nesting, stealing it, I bet. And where we live, the outside plants looks like it looks like a jungle where we're at and then down the street by the grocery store that they're not growing shit so i don't know and they used to no they re see they put in a parking lot and they replanted <laughs> everything and whatever they planted isn't growing <clears throat> it's not thriving <clears throat> in the shit that they put it in to grow in so, you know, the city, yeah. cities are cities, no matter where you're fucking at. And they finally found this little place. But in the backyard that we live in, everything's nice and green. Sure. So, hmm. And you water it? No. I watered the, the vegetables mm -hmm. that we planted on mm -hmm. purpose, but the rest of us stuff, no. I don't water the nature stuff. And the oh. yard's green every, yeah grows fast too that's good but in the rest of the area just like it's feeding not, bears it's just weird like a don't feed like the bears a, no it's like i live in another dimension where what happens to you never happens to me hey, boo -boo. yeah you know like um i was telling one of the members on the rlm he's looking for money to finance some some idea right so i told him Tell Bill Goober? Gates, yeah, well, 
I that might be his name. I told him, you know, write Bill Gates and ask for a grant so you can build a death death ray or a death serum that'll wipe out thousands of people with one inoculation. <laughs> you don't you really have to be doing do it. it all at once. Like, you got to have a zombie apocalypse first. No, oh. no, they they want this crap, so they would finance it. Look at the shit they're doing. <laughs> They've got people convinced that poisons, as long as they're not given to you in too strong of an amount, are not harmful. That's what I'm talking about. How stupid Low do you dose? have to fucking be to know that if it's bad for you, it isn't good for you at any level of, of intake. It doesn't matter. It's like oh, a car. Shit. Yeah, the same no. people that don't understand this understand that you can't run certain fuels through a certain engine. It won't operate. But they can't see the similarity between themselves and that motor. One second, yeah. it's good for you. The fuel you intake makes all the fucking difference. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. No, why not? What What's he doing? Is he yanking his his stuff there, Mister Vincent? Everybody's gonna find out. Oh, so you think you think that they're not oh, supposed? You, oh. I think that old Trump is just a front man for a bad band. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. It's like is, a boy. Well, from this point of view where I'm standing, it doesn't look like it's anything more than let's throw more confusion into the totally confused. Did you know about Bernie Madoff? We never did yeah. figure out what uh, Ponzi did. He bought oh, yeah. What did Ponzi did? All right. He bought stamps overseas and then Ugh. was selling them over here. But like, yeah, I was like buying into that. That's a short story. But what did Bernie Madoff, what, what did he, what's he yeah. famous for? Well, He's what very, he was very... famous for was investing other people's money and using other people's money to pay the people that invested the money that they thought they yeah. earned. He yeah. promised a straight 12% return. Which is impossible due to the fluctuations in market. He did it. But he's also famous for boy uh, bands. Uh-huh. Huh? There's huh? two. I forget the name of them. Uh, Backstreet Boys and uh, the one huh? with, with Justin Oh, Kimberly. boy bands. Okay, boys to Men. We... Yeah. Boys to uh, Men and Backstreet Boys. Okay. Yeah, he financed them. Right. Yeah. Bernie Madoff. Brought you through, through the proceeds, through the yeah. proceeds of his uh, scheming, brought us the boy band. Mm. That was what Bernie Madoff did. So hey, it was all worth it in the end, right? I don't really know what to say to all that, Vinny. You I, have me I've at got a, a disadvantage, sir. I, I am in the I land of confusion. That old man. Her old man was, uh, he was in a boy band. He used to travel. Uh, he's like the least, uh, <laughs> Who, who's old man? Back. My cousin's old man. Oh, your cousin. Okay. Husband. I get it. Hey, I got some questions for you, a oh, oh, wise one. All right? I can answer. Because you, you can I, help me with my dilemmas when I, when I have struggles with truth, right? Aren't you like the, the truth guru on the RLM? I am the truth guru. Okay, truth guru. What becomes of knowing the truth? <laughs> so fucking what? I know. Satisfaction. It. Ooh, happy. <laughs> then I got to argue so with other people that don't know it's true that think it's not true. So where's the, what's the fucking point? <laughs> Uh, to knowing the way. I don't know, but... Point of view. I goes into Grimm's, yesterday. Yeah. Grimner's in a big deal about Yeah, that's a good point. No, no, I'm trying to get you distracted. I'm just telling you, I need some fucking What's shine. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, we need more chemtrails. Not enough clouds. <laughs> hey, there's some. Go stand under that cloud over there. Go stand under that cloud. Kiss my ass. Charlie Brown. Lithium for that? everyone. Lithium for everybody. They yeah, got it I, in those. I've I've read on the ADHD internet. Medicines. Okay. But I've read on the internet they they've openly admitted to doing the lithium, the government. I mean it's the, how are they gonna continue to hide or avoid this shit? 
got the internet now. <laughs> it's a little bit different than it was when they started it. So now the only hope they got to continue is to keep the population uh, stupid. Uh, Any last? Sure. Awesome. Processed foods. Hey, it's, uh, if you argue uh, about global warming, I'll slap you. Hey, it's obvious to me that the world is warmer than it was when I was younger, and yeah, that's pretty much evidence. Okay. Now, you want to break it into an argument? Uh, you know, it, it, it separates it from the actual fact. What did they do? It, it's not, uh, you know, busted holes. They've been nuclear uh, testing in upper atmosphere. You can't do that shit and not screw stuff up. So, you know, <laughs> I, I think there's obviously more sunshine coming through. And uh, we're going to up. So thank God for government. And, Kim and Grimner program. says, and, and don't forget about Vinny's boy band. The many Vinnies. Yay. <laughs> the many Vinnies. <laughs> many. M A N Y. Yeah. Many Vinnies. Many. Yeah, the many Vinnies. So the, they're the thinking Vinny about Lippiness. you. Hey, they're thinking about you, sport. You're, you're fan I'm club. I'm shaking it. <laughs> your fan club <laughs> loves you a long time. <sighs> what are you going to do when Stand you grow there. up anyway? Give me a baby. Oh, you're playing with kids now on the show. This is the Vinny plays with the kid part of the broadcast, where the kid. No, will the kids say, are. They're in the. They're in the back room watching TV. Oh. I'm trying to keep my ears so yeah. they can actually do radio because uh, he doesn't have a place right now. I begged you. Begged you now. You had to beg me, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm just sorry. You I begged off me. yesterday. Huh? Yeah. Well. What off? Did you say beg, jacked off yesterday? Begged beg off yesterday. My broadcast. Oh, so you fucking basically said fuck them yesterday and didn't do it. Dude. Right. Yeah. Oh, you're a dickhead. Like did you just tell them, hey, guys, I'm not coming in? <clears throat> yeah, I did. Okay. After I pronounced M-I-A. Oh, that's fucked up. So you waited until, <laughs> like, you were late, and then you said, oh. No, it was one minute after the hour. <clears throat> See? Before. <laughs> Sorry, son of a bitch. You shouldn't be so late all the time. <clears throat> Get up and You kiss and... your mom with that mouth. Hell yeah, I do. Wow. And she's the one that. I'd be sitting here to give me more shit than I would. You know that. <laughs> Welcome to the. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Hell, I look. <laughs> that was different. Hey, I want pizza. You pizza. Want pe I'm sorry. Say it. East pizza? East Coast. Pizza. Put an R on it. Pizza Why? and lobster. Oh, that's the way you talk. Like Lobster, Marsha. Like you can't get fine. there from here. Things that say in name. Well, ladies and Stay gentlemen, we seem to have lost complete and total Think, touch with reality on the dark table. Stay tuned for further developments. <laughs> hey, Vinny, train wreck. <laughs> Hey, okay. train wreck boy. A door yard. Yeah. Oh, I was like, train wreck. Uh, 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 yeah. So. Can you hear? Can y'all hear Daniel? No. Yeah. You can hear? Yes. Yeah. You can. Yeah. Can you hear? Have you ever heard a French Canadian person? Like I have, yeah. being right there on the border of fucking Canada. They sit there and they look at you and they'll see you like this right here. They go, <laughs> "Hey there, are you my friend." I haven't eaten myself today, there, Mia. You, my friend. I I haven't, what the fuck did you just say? I haven't eaten myself today, eh? No, I haven't eaten myself today, there, eh? You, me, eh? You, my, my friend. It's fucking weird. Did you hear that? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, hold it in. Hold it I in. Just, hold it in. Let's, let's do it. Uh, where's what? your lighter? Let's see. What? I don't know what man. I are, you, are you being bu a bully? Get the. Have you yeah. bullied anyone in the last 24 hours? You know, I'm actually opposite of a bully. You mean you but, don't go to the lo local <laughs> coffee house and start fights with the people that disagree with your political stands? No. no. Wow. Actually, what you kind know, of subversive Leah, are you? And, and Ryan, you sound very subversive there are this to me. type of bully going on. The mainstream media and their bully tactics. Yeah, it's kind of like a cult deal. Is it? Like what, how? Yeah. Well, Listen, I man, I'm asking you. I live in another country. I had now, the I opportunity. 
to yeah. see these people and interact with them and watch them and observe them and see how they um, right. reported it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Come to Chile. Yay! Bella, Bella, Bella! Well, that was what a doing, hell of a story there you going? just told, Vince. Wow. Partly. I think we've been attacked by aliens or something. Hey, what's your shirt say? You were starting into a tale of woe, and then you just faded out of it. So. Yeah. Wow. Are you... Are you are you Whip on drugs? <laughs> oh, outside. Have you been snorting <laughs> waffle batter with Not, your friends? You can no, tell me, Vince. Just licking the bowl. Oh, okay. But you're not snorting the batter again, right? No, no batter. Because okay. remember the last time you did that. Wow. I, I thought do it was going to be a felony. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> Are you singing? So you're going to retire okay. from being on... Are you going to retire from the radio or are you just retired from traveling? Just from traveling. Yeah, once I, once I get my new box yeah. in place yeah. uh, and moved but in and all that. What so. the fuck are you going to have to talk about if you live in, in a box in Arkansas? Your wallpaper? Well, um, <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a lot of work in it to do actually with... the. Uh, Material that I've gathered over this these journey of mine that need yeah. to be uh, brought together, and, and I've got uh, uh, a brand new muse, which uh, is, is really good. Uh, Dave, point me in some nice directions, uh, script notes, and uh, wisecracks, uh, and, and really just kind of a cool way of looking at, at life. <laughs> Not that I'm going to be a screenwriter or, or make uh, <clears throat> uh, movies and stuff like that. You're not Jewish enough for that shit. I, well, I hate to break it to you. Yeah, it's right. a good I, good way to see views and perspectives, and you know that's that's what I'm doing is considering well, perspectives. You know, I'm, I guess you could always that. sell out, go get a circumcision, and tell them you're a Jew now. <laughs> Maybe they'll let you in the club. <laughs> what do you think? Want to try that? I I recommend that you do that. Good job. You know, then you could walk in the Warner boy? Brothers and show them your shit and go, see, I'm one of you now. And they <clears> to <throat> hire you. <clears throat> and you could be a star. <laughs> you, got the, uh, you got that Looney Tunes uh, theme in your mind? Not me. No. But what, uh, Rums was writing about his neighbor starting a fire at 2 in the morning, and that was hysterical shit. <laughs> That's some shit that happened around here. People do the damnedest things to their self, do they not? Uh huh. I don't know. I'm. I, I don't witness much. It's pretty quiet and boring here. These most of these people. Hey, are you know where I live is it is normal, it is a, whatever that is. This is much of wilderness that uh, you can get. You can get way out, like in the Rockies and stuff like that. And you know, lots yeah. of uh, nothing yeah. forever and ever and ever. Yeah. But uh, here it's. Uh, you know, it's woods and hills and hollers and river. Uh, yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, not so big. Yeah, yeah. yeah ah. You can get you can get, you can a person can come here and walk out and get lost very easy. Oh, fuck yeah! Not. You don't, yeah. You don't yeah. know where you're going. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. Well, that's why they make all those horror movies about the woods, <laughs> so that you'll stay <laughs> in the woods. He up the banjo. I don't Three think days. that the the Who government did? wants uh, us in the yes, woods. Sir. Went hunting out here. Oh, yeah, he got lost for three days. Three days they were looking for my uncle. Huh. And Uncle Buddy was on the hunt, too. Yeah. Uncle Buddy's probably told us that story. Uncle Gary is the one that, uh, he bananas. I think I remember that. Yeah. He fell down. Oh, boy, he got lost out here three days. Stuck in the mud. He went to go shoot it. Banana that barrel all the way down. A canoe. Nice. Wait, what do you, where are you? I thought you were in Arkansas. I am. Why, why are Canucks getting stuck in the mud? No, he went not he, well, he uh, was down here visiting and, hunt, and got lost for three days. Got stuck. <laughs> He's from here. Lives here. Wow. <laughs> lost for three days. <laughs> Man, that takes some doing. You got to be pretty lame. <laughs> it, what would you call it? I mean, if, he's, he's an old man. Oh, then he, he was yeah, an old man. He was ill. 
No. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. it's a pasture and everything else now over uh, the Pentecostal church down there, that big one. That oh, wow. Those two, fucking, yeah. Big time, man. Huh. Well, I guess he wasn't old when he got stuck and lost. And he blew up his gun or something. Stuck it in the mud. <laughs> wow. Blew up his gun or something. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Well, okay. So, all right. I could accept old, but if you think about it, if if you're gonna go out somewhere and there's the possibility that you can't return, you should know these things first. You know, I mean, it's how dumb can somebody be to just wander into a freaking forest with no experience and just expect the best? <laughs> Wolves don't eat humans. <laughs> about six years old. And I came, I found my way back, and I, my uncle, he made fun of me. He said I'd been crying. You could tell because my eyes were red. <laughs> oh. Well, my I was only red. six. I went plumb through the other side of what Lindsay Woods, and I'd never been that far before. And then when I started noticing stuff being familiar on my way back, I was so happy that I found my way back. And it wasn't, no, it wasn't even an all day thing. It was just a couple <laughs> hours. What was it? Oh, I, I was out hunting. And, uh, ah, Mr. List. Hunting Guy. <clears throat> yeah, I hunted as a kid growing up. Are you a natural born killer, Mr. Vincent? No, just to subst substantiate. <laughs> substantiate. <laughs> well, so. some people that don't know any better would argue about how there's no difference. And I can I, say. <laughs> I shot a groundhog one time and brought it back to my grandpa. Yeah. And he says, Did you ever oh, shoot a senator? Son. No. Ah, you're I useless. Shot, I saw a groundhog. Get back to me when you did. work your way up to senator or maybe governor. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know, in uh, True Grit, that's what the, they would say. They know Ned Pepper. Yeah. And, uh, and the other guy, that uh, the gal from Dardanelle uh, in Yale County, Arkansas here, was after, uh, you know, the, the guy. Based on uh, a true story. Yeah, he, then, huh? he, he killed, yeah, he killed the senator down in Texas. Uh, Glenn wow. Campbell played the original uh, version with John Wayne. Yeah, he was the, the Texas, Texas Ranger. Ranger. Yeah. yeah. There's a I good song a little, uh, Michael Barton, All you Texas Rangers. But I'll never be a redneck like you. You know, it would be like oh, being a Dane that, like Cirque. Ain't never going to happen. So I'm more than a redneck. Much, you much would, more. You're more than a what? Redneck. Much, how much do you more. how do you prove that in an admiral? I'm court? a redneck hillbilly southern fried Ooh. slice of country with a western swing <laughs> and a death salsa from salsa baby. Wow, well, you sound like the mayor of RLM. Just baffle him with bullshit. You know, make the sentences <laughs> continue. So they get to the point where they don't even know what what you're talking about. It's just fun. And matter. who argues with fun? People argue <laughs> with truth. They don't argue with bullshit. Bullshit's what you agree with. <laughs> the more bullshit is sure, there is in it, the better it is to agree with. <laughs> what you got? Uh oh. I don't know. What do you got? Teaching this boy how to talk like Oh, uh, did you know did you know that anti never fucked what anything got? up? What? Wow. I'm impressed. Now? So is from How about down? I Side think way? it's a conspiracy. Ah, it's all in the wording. He maybe said, uh, could be. Maybe could be Frumpy's down. in charge of everything. Right. And we just don't know it. Hmm. I wonder. Is Frumpy here. He's a damn yeah. idiot. It, oh, oh, he, he, you are very mean. Uh, you Who's use mean? awful rude words to those there people there, Mister Vincenzo. Oh. Me? Oh, I love yeah. Frumpy. He's, Why? He's, he looks like Einstein. Because he looks like Einstein. And he's very smart. <laughs> wow. You're so superficial. <laughs> you just like people because of the way they look. <laughs> you vain sack of shit. I thought you had a spine. <laughs> hey, you can, uh, you can like ugly people, too. They're, they're sometimes oh, okay. more likable. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would hope Aww. so. I wouldn't have any friends at all. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what's his name? Joseph Merrick. I'd have to have a bag. 
Carry uh, too. Carry okay. too, in case one fall, you know, yours falls off, you can put the other one back on. <laughs> but I got old. My outside well, got old, absolutely. but my inside didn't. You know, that stayed the same. <laughs> They call, I think that the normal folk out there in in Playland call it uh, maturing, and I missed I missed a meeting or two on that one, <laughs> according to common lore. You know, mm. yeah. But hey, it it's the way it is. I'm kind of glad I missed those meetings. Look at what look at what the people learn by going to them. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Grimner. No. Uh, I got a question on uh, okay. <clears throat> being able to listen here on uh, on an app. Now, there's the uh, there is an app, Real Liberty Media. There's also what uh, we got Tune In. Uh, can you play on demand uh, on some of these apps uh, like Tune In and Listen Internet Radio? Um, if, if somebody uh, goes to the broadcaster page specifically, I think you can download it. Um, uh, what, what what are some more answers to this question, please, sir? Great, and my Heidi Grimner. That was fun. Okay. No, really, I enjoyed that a lot. I don't have a clue what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> well, that you look fun. there at the Real Liberty Media dot com uh, yeah. homepage. Oh, at oh, the homepage. Go. No, you know to, what? I'm using. Uh, no. RLMRadio.xyz. Nice but I'm what? using Ice Chat and it doesn't get radio. Mm. Well, no, I have there, to open up the chat. RLM to get the radio. Yeah, RLMRadio.xyz. Take you right to the yeah. chat. Yeah. There's a player yeah. top left. You can click play. And right below that, you'll see there is uh, listen on TuneIn and also internet radio option right below that. If you oh, look up, class. if I recall, if I recall, if you'll look to the right and go down just a little bit, there's a place that you can download the app for iPhone, oh. iOS, also for Android. Uh, uh, there is a place right there to download the app. Uh, <laughs> but can you listen? On, can you listen on demand from any of those locations? Is um, oh. my course. Uh, you see. can go to the. You can go to the uh, to the homepage uh, rlmradio.xyz or reallibertymedia.com, and you'll see that uh, recently played, and you can scroll there and, and grab some of the recent uh, broadcasts to play there. Uh, in, uh, um, and but of course that comes right there. So wow. there's uh, different ways of doing that. And I'm a tech part, so we, you've we, become, we'll wait for uh, Gramner. You've become quite you the informative it. little fellow, too, sir. Thank you. Oh, oh, I yeah, am an informant. Man, I, like I am a... actually an informant. You know, of, yeah. uh, I, I've been pursuing these FBI informants as part of uh, my diligent, doing my due diligence and all this. So Ugh. I say you, you, me, we, they, uh, everybody's uh, an informant. Um, guard your words, certainly, uh, because they can be misconstrued. Uh, yeah. I did attempt to be an FBI informant in Denver. In the courthouse, and uh, the uh, prosecutor he uh, eventually saw what I was doing, and he shut me down and uh, oh. alienated, alienated the whole thing. So yeah, I, I was trying to inform them of where we are in this world. Uh, You're a celebrity now too. At war, I, I'm Forrest Gump famous. It are you are you there. traveling at warp four yet? That's uh, no, what I want to know. I'm going at. Uh, about 24,000 miles per hour. Well, I think you're a fine example of your race. Thank you. You know, I run very, yeah, very... more of your race should act like you, you do, yeah. then more of your race would not be idiots. Run, Vinny, yeah. run! Yeah. I've decided, and as a Jew, I can say any fucking thing I want about you. <laughs> Did you know that? I wrote to you. Well, You're no, not a, I'm, not, I'm not a believer one that believes all that horse shit, but I'm Jewish enough to belong to the crap crowd that does. They they accept me in their herd. So, mm. yeah, ooh, what a position to be in. So, their you know herd? Like cattle? <laughs> That's the way I look at what? it. 
any group, ah, fuck them, man. I don't care if they think they own my paperwork or not. I don't want to be there. Eat them fish heads, buddy. I'm just not going to do it. You cannot force me. I am a free human life did, form did, on Earth. Hey, did Grimner, did Grimner answer the questions yet? The questions? Oh, I forgot to. Uh, I didn't know I was in charge. Yes, says, yes, yes. Hold Dude. on a minute. Hold on a minute. Uh, let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me do this, and I'll read what he says. Hmm. Uh, I guess going back to 1855, hmm. five minutes ago. And he says, Vinny, you can listen on the podcast page from any one of the archives or on Spreaker for up to six months. And then it says, or archives is, wait, no, that's frumpy. Also, if you go to the rlmradio.xyz page and click the archives button, you can listen via YouTube. Yeah, he's uh, yeah. so Dave. Uh, he likes to listen when he's jogging, and uh, he's been listening on the YouTube. Uh, I I don't uh, yeah. promote the YouTube a lot. I say going back to the broadcaster page because of the content there. Uh, my attempt wow. at, at writing. Yeah. What at a, least what relate. A mess all this is, you know, because a lot of that good information I got. The, key, the reason I got it was it was on YouTube. You yeah. know, uh -huh. in the first place. So what? Well. I opened up the box. The box got right by the box. Yeah, but not right now. No, I'm just saying because sure. now I was going to chunk. Yeah, keep them. Put them in a bag. Find on it. So okay. Now that now that Thank it's you. not Thank cool you, to use YouTube anymore because they're all censoring and, and cutting and it's you know it's kind of a sad thing to see. It's like seeing your home burn. It's purpose, but uh, you know what I mean or not. Yeah. You, you're not that emotionally and, and it's okay. It's, it's given us a place to, to our you know, So I mean, it definitely has its place. A lot of people use it. So uh, well, it is, I, the, I guess, I think uh, it, connection it proves, in a lot of ways. It proves the theory that small community is the answer to. If you have problems, that'll solve them. It's you're living beyond what's reality. Yeah, I, I like what you can like live with. The small community. I, yeah, well, you've been in both, just like me. And when you're in I, the I don't big play city, the algorithm. I, I spend a lot of I, I spend a lot of energy in, in doing that. You know, uh, I, I choose not to expend my energy in that. Right, but I stand out in either situation, the big city or the small city. That's not going to change the appearance of things, but the behavior is a lot easier to deal with in in a small place than a big place. People are more honest in the smaller places. And that works for your benefit if you have an open mind to it. You're not a big pussy. I am Vinny Lippiness, and well, you are yeah. some booty. Hey, it's know, time to close out for me on my end. I uh, got to go, don't you know? Oh, all right. Well, I'll either play on or I'll call it a day after, short after you leave, Mr. Vincenzo, and see all what right. happens. But hey, thanks, thanks a lot for yeah for coming by and the train wreck and the kid and your uh, your friend in the it's background. It's awesome. It's it's well, life. It's that's what I was getting. Yeah, I, you cut me off before I could say it first. You <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, say Eddie. it. Go ahead. I, say yeah, it. It's life. Do it. Because Hannah it. barks and and it drives Cert crazy and it doesn't bother me at all. She's a dog. It What's a dog me. supposed to do? Write a Kids symphony are and to make noise. yeah, yeah. There you go. Anyway, go on. take off, you fucking broken winged dipshit. No. <laughs> I fly. I fly well, in circles. You. So, all right. Do you have plans for the radio again? Do you want to tell anyone? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'm coming back Bitch Friday. Shit. And uh, I got to actually, um, what time? there's a lot more I need to add. Yeah, next it, Friday at noon Central, 1 okay. p.m. Uh, yeah. On the uh, Atlantic side of the country. Yeah, Florida da, da, da. side. Yeah, New York. Yeah, New York. New York, that's Yeah, right. there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, mm. I got to do. Uh, there's a lot more to do. Uh, not just next week. And I, I have uh, five, six, and seven for the uh, review of uh, Bundyville uh, yeah. to work on. I, I'm looking to... 
uh, do an interview with the uh, FBI undercover informant that uh, that uh, put Schaefer Cox away from Alaska. Who? Um, Schaefer oh, Cox. Oh man, there's so much so much of this drama from uh, America. Wow. Free Schaefer Cox. You search a hashtag there. Free uh, Free Schaefer Cox. So oh, you, uh, free. Start, free him. Yeah. Free. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's uh, that's something I got going. I would like to. Uh, get with Melissa Louder. She was FBI informant uh, in Bunkerville and in, uh, well, at least up. Maybe she started up in, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to get her story. Uh, I, I want to know why and uh, what uh, what drove her to that. <clears throat> and talking about informants, you know, we, when you're involved in something like that, you, you've got to expect that uh, there's been plants. And th- this is par- part of uh, the problem, how the FBI works. They don't. Instead of walking away in peace, okay, uh, they want to shit, take a shit. They, they and then send walk people away. in to facilitate. Yeah, they facilitate crime. So you know, this is part of uh, what I was trying to talk to Ryan English, the uh, the FBI agent in charge in in Denver there on the Bruce Seth case, and the prosecutor shut me down. You know, put up of a course roadblock. they don't want the public to know they're the ones responsible for the crimes they fucking solve. It would make them look bad. Are you kidding? A real yeah. cop can't solve crime. They're, they're, crimes can't be solved. That that's a bunch of shit you see on TV. People do crime. You don't know when and where. You can't read their fucking minds like they tell you they can on TV. Oh, your micro fucking movements tell us that you're <laughs> <clears throat> fuck well, you I've, your ass. <laughs> uh, I I've been I spend most of my time concentrated in the the, uh, the patty. Uh, field that you know the patties I call those that are the anti uh, poots the Bundy crowd and yeah. I like to I like to be challenged you know in what this information is that's uh, that's available I don't want to be um, you know in the choir and and uh, you know confirmation bias so I challenge myself in, in that which I perceive with other other people's ideas and I think that's very important and. and um, uh, if nobody was listening, I would do what I'm doing anyway. Anyway, setting the yeah. record. So, yeah. but we, yeah. when there's there's some people that uh, throughout my time in doing this that are very special connections, and, and uh, that that much it, it makes it all uh, you know that, that pays some dividends. That, that makes it all worthwhile. Well, yeah, because so, like, you're having. The way you're doing it is not about gaining anything. It's about making something to leave behind you. So it's like yeah, a piece of art. Way. Yeah, it's art. Yeah. Well, it's so art. easy easy to access this media, but it's not easy to leave a message that other people can understand or want to hear. <laughs> that's that's the difficulty and, and part Most, of the muse, yeah. the muse that... Uh, that I've got to, it's being able to, you know, you you've got to have an ending too, and, you, and you've got to have these points of views, and but it has to be available and and readily understood by the listener, or the reader. Uh, so and you need an ending, and that's my problem. I never end. It's so so uh, annoying. So well, and I'm working on being a better purveyor. Yeah, but of, you uh, you did bring a lot of the bunny shit to people fresh from the truth, not through a media source. So it was never yeah. one-sided, unless you call being telling the truth one being one-sided, because the truth always leaned to the guy's side against the government. The government always looked bad. So you, the people would argue that you're just looking at his good side and not not accepting this is the real truth of it. You you get where I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Well, from? yeah, I, and that caused me a lot of yeah. friction with with yeah. a few people. Yeah. Uh, and, and talking about the followers, being, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, being like uh, you know anti Bundy, which you know, I'm very pro Bundy. Um, nobody's perfect. Uh, there was right. there's lots of mistakes that have been made, but not to be returned and dealt with in death. And that's but what we Vinny, get from the government. You're a show off, not a, not a misrepresenter. You know, you don't bend shit to make things look certain ways, but you, you like dance. attention, so. It, you're hard to read, even for me uh, sometimes. I like a team. But, yeah, but the Bundy thing was, that was a, um, 
you are closer to that than anybody else I know. Listen, I've got to tell you, and I was very disappointed myself, but I did take a test to see if I was a narcissist. And it's, it's a <laughs> you probably, on their chart, you probably are, yeah. I'm a hedonist. Don't, look, don't confuse look what it I with a narcissist. It's a difference. Oh, well, maybe I better take a hedonist test. Oh, you're definitely a hedonist. I mean, it's like it's like being an anarchist. We don't have a union or anything. We just reckon, recognize one another. And it's male and female alike. And the hedonists seem to hit the uh, RLM all at the same time. Hmm. Look, Look what well, I can do. We don't get along <laughs> with each other, but we're basically fun people that want to have a good time. Who don't get along? And then there's a few that don't, that want to run things and you know organize and tell you what to do. Shut up. No, I don't want to shut up, Vinny. Don't tell me to shut up. Uh, pick a card, any card. Hey, did you know that you can pick your friend's? And you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. <laughs> That's a lie. That's a lie. <laughs> Boy, you're close then. <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. I hope Cirque doesn't hear that and get some crazy idea to see how friendly she can be. <laughs> you know My what a wet willy a, is? Yeah, but my wife has a sense of humor. She re renamed me some booty instead of <laughs> somebody. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I like well, it. that was yeah, but see, it makes it look like it was me doing it, and I didn't do that. That Too was bad. my partner <laughs> in crime. Yeah, see what I mean? That's what it, when you see when you contract, you, you take the good and the bad shit all together, and you deal with it the same. But it's very hard to do. But it's possible if you stay on top of the idea and you Ooh, don't Peter. let the the shit get to you. I could take that as an insult if I want to be a big baby girl about it. Because that's it's not a good name for me to have, but this is what Sir gave me, so I'm going to grin and bear it. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> crack, crack, crack a smile. Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, she's a funny fucker, man. I'm telling you. Yeah, when your your alias can be uh, bend over. The point I think I was getting more to is that I met somebody that actually understands my sense of humor and, and appreciates it for what it is. Because I'm, I'm very rarely serious. When I'm serious, it's about the system. Are you serious? No, not really. No. I have a good time. I go out. Like today, my big day out was uh, what happened. I'm downtown. And... Have you ever went to the store and left with more shit than it was comfortable to, then to carry when you were walking? Yeah. Okay. And you have to put stuff down, take a minute, and come, you know, gather your shit, and then pick it all back up yeah. and go on. Yeah. Pull, plus, pull your, pull your pants right. up as you're sagging. Plus, right, the girl has a dog on a leash on top of the whole fucking thing. A woman. She's an old, older woman, about my age. And in Danish, she asked me if uh, if I got any hash. <laughs> <laughs> I had to tell her no and, you know, go on my merry way. And then at, yeah. at the grocery store, there's a kid that plays guitar, right? So I'm talking to him last week, and, and uh, I asked him if he knew anybody that tunes a piano because me and Cirque have a piano now. But it got knocked out of tune moving it from place to place, so it needs to be tuned. You can you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a can't fish. Can't tune a fish. <laughs> R L M R R L O. What L? What was that called? Uh, L M O A. No, now R E M. No R. R E O Speedwagon. Fuck, it was hard oh. for to remember because well, they were a pop. Because uh, you're all. Yeah, I know. There's been a lot of that shit come and go since I was a kid. Uh huh. Well, hey, listen, man. It's uh, it's pizza time. Well, then go eat, you rocket chair fucking crazy boy. Thanks for helping me out with this. Peace on you guys. Yeah, hey. always. Good job right with on. the bunnies and all I'll, that. Uh, it, See it's, ya. Thanks. It'll be, it'll be a little while, but I'm uh, I'm uh, setting my uh, settlement down and, and all of that. So I got a lot to do. Right. I was, uh, you know, up in the air about exactly what I wanted to do and. Uh, we'll I, I just, I live life 
uh, at the moment and, and let things fall into place. I, I think uh, my my experience in this universe is uh, is harmonic, and uh, I try to stay tuned in the proper frequency and how I move through life. And so sometimes I just let it come to me, and I make sure that my path is obvious to me and uh, evidence before me. And, and uh, God is great and, and gives that to me because uh, I'm stubborn and all that stuff. So. I guess that would be your decision, being as it's your life, to explain to me. I'm not going to tell you how you are. <laughs> that's my opinion, and that doesn't mean it's true. It just means how I see it. That's right. All right you're buddy. always going to be whatever you, you are. So, Go away, I oh, I am busy, oh, Vinny. <laughs> no, anyway, I'll see you guys more later. Thank you. So I put up a post on... Uh, on the RLM Real Liberty Media that I took off of the Minds.com. And <clears throat> I just wanted to read this one. It says, I don't think people realize how the establishment became established. They simply stole land and property from the poor, surrounded themselves with weak minded psychophants for protection, gave themselves titles, and have been wielding power ever since. And that's not talking about America in particular, I don't think. I think he's talking about the royals from the beginning of whatever this all is that we're doing right now. And it is a fucking mess. But I didn't say the protester was right in any way. I'm just saying the ice asshole is not right. You can't use I was just following orders as an excuse for the actions you take. Well, yeah, but they can do that, and that's what they're doing, and that's what they've always done. And grim, whether we like it or not, because I don't like it either, but it's accepted by the majority, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, these people think that if you agree with the other guy, then you're right. Not they don't value the the knowledge; they value the you're right. So I guess it's it's easier to misinform someone with that kind of crap in the first place. Like the Tesla thing with Edison. Edison was a con man and a thief. And Tesla was a freaking genius. And history shows us what becomes of men who are freaking geniuses. They get eaten alive by the the powers that exist. That steal and lie and rob to get where they're at. And then once they're there you can't get rid of them because they own everything. Well, there's a lot of people and no resistance to any of this. They, they, well, they call resistance voting. Well, if you're writing the laws and jibber-jabber in the first place, right, that's agreed on by the court. The court agreed to just write and jibber-jabber that can't be uh, taken seriously. So they can do anything that they damn well please to anyone they want, provided they come into their court. So the trick is to stay out of their court, but you have to do it verbally, not physically. So it's a rigged game. No matter how you try to explain it, no matter how you try to fight it, we're all going to go through whatever we want for ourselves to happen. That's what I think. You pick your own life. And I'm going to read from the chat and see if I... Or maybe I should just call this show a, an end and, and just end it. But... The chat looks rather interesting. Doing his job. I already read that part. I didn't say the protester was right in any way. No, I read that too. Uh-oh. If I call you an asshole, it doesn't mean that I am not also an asshole. Just pointing out that you are. Oh, yeah, I agree with that. Because I call people names on the RLM sometimes. Doesn't mean I'm not to them. But I don't care. <laughs> what the hell is the point? It's not about agreeing with each other that matters. It's about understanding the truth the way that other people I see that do are. Like Mary, my little Graham Z friend on the radio. She sees life however the hell she sees life. And I don't judge what she sees or how she explains it to me. I just listen to her. And I'm not like that with everybody. I'm not like that with Cirque. But me and, me and Mary get along that way. It's very strange. And uh, then there's Grim, Grim and Moose on the radio. 
those two think pretty much like I think. Just express it in their own personal fashion, but the end result is the same. We're in a fucking mess. We're all in it. And to not be in it is fucking almost impossible. Yeah. And all these answers that you're given to solve problems are a bunch of crap in the end because the law says that you can't own property because you're a citizen. <laughs> but it's not written in plain language that you can understand by reading it. So, well, well how do you explain this then? Um, it takes a lot of personal uh, research and development and adjusting. Because you have to be willing to accept the re the answer that you reach through your your looking. And I found a lot of shit I didn't want to see. Like on on the uh, property title deed of a mortgage of a home, it says tenant. It doesn't have your name in it. And I'm talking to a, a close friend at the time, telling her this, and didn't want to see it. Didn't want to hear it. And when they realized it was true, got mad at me about it <laughs> for ever bringing it up. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, Grimner, hey, Moose, uh, are you intentionally missing my point? I got your point very clearly. I have no respect for either the protester or the pig. Exactly. But see, that's the the unique stand that other people cannot grasp i've not found it you know and fa well maybe with cirque but mary and cirque grimner rob works woody there uh, roams there's a handful anti frumpy and it's not naming anybody in any particular order it's just you know there's a lot of you i mean a lot a lot of you in terms of I don't know that many people in person that I deal with as much as are the folks on the RLM, you know. And some of the people here on the RLM agree with the things I agree with, and some of them don't. But the majority of it is agree. So I guess it kind of comforts me being this far from home that at least there's people back home that know what's really happening. It's not the dog and pony show about Trump going to England. Because these big fucking things, as much as they affect you in the pocket, in that's the only way. It's financial. It's got no other, no other reach to it. It might be entertainment for you, or you're star crazy and you like looking at rich people so that you can dream that someday you can be like them. But you're not related to those people. <laughs> and until that gets you know absolutely understood amongst everybody because some people don't seem to know it if you're not in the right families you're only going to go so far in society period and if you have been into a big city and see all those high buildings <laughs> there's lots and lots of people to fight to get there and it's, it's a mess who wants that now, I might not want it, but apparently millions of people do. So as long as you got willing uh, participants, you're going to have the game. And whether they trade in dollars or puka shells, it's always going to be a game. And it's always going to be like this. There's no way out. <laughs> I, I, I think I'm amused. But I told Cirque the other day, if, if the thing collapses... I don't think that will affect small places that expect it to because I don't believe that the small societies are as dependent on the big societies as the big societies are. It's it's all themselves. It's like if California f collapsed tomorrow, I don't think it would affect me in any way. I'm not buying any products that are originate in California, but California is going to suffer. <laughs> And this shit, these games, these money games and political games that they play with us. Well, I, I don't know if they're real or not, but the stories that you hear and the way you hear them, it dictates how you look at it. Me, I don't know. 
I think uh, I look outside and see how peaceful and calm everything is in my world where I'm at. And then I read on the internet how there's boots on the ground in uh, Syria, Israel's attacking, and Russia's coming down to save save Syria. So there are huge uh, military things going on right now that are way more important than how I feel about some actress in Hollywood. <laughs> but that that has the attention of a lot of people in the world. They want to read about famous people. So instead of reading about the fractional reserve banking practices, they know how many dresses Madonna owns or whoever the, you know, the woman is now. That's the name that came to mind cuz I'm old. Oh, I could have said Marilyn, but she died when I was a child. But the good side to this equation is I grew up with Marilyn Monroe as, you know, that was what women were. And look at the shit they got today. <laughs> to, wow. It's it's not looking good for you guys. I'm telling you. I'm glad I'm old. But I think that everybody says that through their, their generation. Whatever generation they're in at my age, I'm just repeating the the expected response to it. On your vote counts alone. I'm reading from Grimner. Uh oh, wait, gotta move my mouse, lost my screen. On your vote counts all right, it shows them you are still mind fucked because wanna taco. Because money is by far the most powerful instrument of control. Exactly. It's money is not even real. It's a it, it's a group illusion. We agree to do this. It's through our own consent and I think that participating in it is consent there you go what more do these fuckers need and as long as we collectively support places like Israel and France and Germany and England and America this is the response we're gonna get constant fucking war with people we don't know over social and religious beliefs that should be fucking left alone if you were meant to mix you would have by now <laughs> all this force is i don't know i think it's too much from what i i haven't seen physically a lot of it but i've read a lot of it on the interwebs but somehow i'm living in this small danish town that's supposed to be a hellhole and I find it quite comfortable. Uh, people are friendly and civilized, and uh, it's quiet, you know, because there's this very small population. So, well, I don't know. Overcrowd people, and I think that the res the results that we're seeing were expected by the people that built it. But, of course, when I was living in it, you know, I've got great memories of living in big cities when I was young because of the things that I did, which is the trap that, how do you teach people about this? It's, it's, it's impossible. Because to me, there's a lot of good things to it, but they were controlled. What looks like freedom at when you're 20 is you realize 30 years later was a trap. No matter what angle you approached it from, you're still going to be where you were. Nothing nothing is out of balance in that world because it's all controlled by money. And people like me will never see wealth. We'll, I've had good days and good months and whatever, good years, but wealth, no, 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 no. I don't even think I'd want something like that. I would consider it a burden. Then I'd have to be accountable to this horrid system that I just... Uh, I found creative ways of engaging them and avoiding them simultaneously because I've never avoided them completely. I've played some of their ID games and whatnot, but like the IRS thing, I stayed away from that. That was this obvious trap. Plus, I had people tell me when I was, uh, I was 26, so I hadn't really looked for any jobs. By that point, I hadn't started looking for anything that paid all that great in the first place. It was just comfortable. But when I got into the, uh, looking at the, uh, they called it, um, the hell did they call it? 
lost my train of thought completely. They called it head hunting because what you were doing is finding people who were already employed, and I was in a banking thing, finding bankers that were selling a certain amount of sales every month and trying to get them to work for other banks. So it's it was, wow, very um, deceitful, but very upfront and honest at the same time. Nihilistic. Oh, wait. Ah, I see somebody. Do you serve small Danishes in the small Danish town? Absolutely. They got a, they've got a store that just, their only thing is bakes, the baked pastries. and They serve food, but the food is secondary. The main thing people go there is for the baked breads and uh, the pastries and the sweets. They got these things I'm addicted to. I call them sugar bombs. Fucking, they're delicious so wherever you live in the world you can always find some place that makes something sweet that you'll like that's kind of been you know because i live in the free countries yeah you know, places that end in land and um arc shit like that co <laughs> <Co. laughs> duh <laughs> and uh it's been a fun trip. I'm I'm coming up on 59 in September. If, you know, see if I make it. <laughs> Cirque says she's not poisoning in any my tea, so I feel comfortable with that. <laughs> but uh, small people, yeah, there's a lot of small people here. I don't I don't feel uh, it's a small uh, population too, but there's I don't know maybe it's very balanced and I just don't notice. Because I see tall people all the time, and it, I don't know. They don't strike me as different or odd or any of that. Could be my perverse outlook on life that I don't really give a fuck what what you look like. That's not what's important about you. And I, I think I might take it to a, a, a higher level than some folks. The system is working as designed, hands. There is no fixing it. It can only be eliminated. It could be abandoned as well, but if you tried to um, to group up with enough people to make the change at the same time, I think there's enough spies and turncoats out there to stop it. And people are terrified of being exposed for going against the government because it's against the law now to be anti-government. At least that's what I've read. If I'm wrong, somebody fix that part. Hey, Grim, is that true or not? Like, uh, you can't hold a public office in America in a state or federal if you don't openly support um, Israel. They will not. That is hilarious. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh, they're... Okay, they're doing the... Uh, the tr uh, the Trump and Hansel show, then uh, I'm going to shut down and put off the, put it off until next week. Now, tomorrow, tomorrow we got Grimm coming on doing the blues and then trivia, which he always wins because he's just faster than the rest of us. Fucking lightning fingers, damn Grimner. <laughs> and after that, you got Hal Anthony behind the woodshed and that's all I'm aware of. I don't know anymore, but the RLM is fighting about politics, and I don't, I don't know. It's all bullshit to me. So I had fun. Thanks a lot to Vinny, and we'll see you guys next time on the Dork Table program. <laughs> Later.